Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Uh, thank you, Chair. And uh, I'm sorry uh, to walk around uh, in previous session because uh, 10 minutes ago, uh, my drone network died. So <laughs> I conducted the configuration only um, eight minutes. <laughs> so yes, it repaired. Okay, let's start the demo. Uh, sorry, presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm Watari Yamara from NTT Docomo. Today, I present uh, uh, iSphere. Uh, it is world first faker drone display. Uh, as you know, uh, various technology to display image in the air have been described uh, in science fiction movies for a long time. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, Raya Princess in Star Wars, or Back to the Future, or Blade Runner, and Mind Report, and, and so on. So many, many movies have described it. And this technology, like magic, have also attracted great attention of real researchers and they have proposed various approaches to realize it. Uh, Taking example, a method using inverse tether to levitate physical objects have been proposed. Xenon is a method to control the 3D position of a magnetic material with a strong magnetic field. Pixie does, proposed by uh, Ochiai et al, can form a uh, sparse image in 3D space. Um, by controlling the position of the small, lightweight particle uh, with an acoustic potential field. Uh, Kimura et al. Uh, proposed an approach to induce plasma in the air uh, with strong laser beam. Uh, the approach using self-levitating blimps and projector were also proposed uh, by Tobita. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, by the way, um, in recent years, uh, many display systems using much copter type drones have been proposed. Uh, for example, Intel demonstrated uh, that shooting star uh, could display large uh, figure in space by hundreds of the small drones, each equipped with a single full color LEDs. Uh, Michael Ado also presented SkyMagic a system for stage performance uh, by larger drones decorated with much LED tapes like that. And Gomez uh, at all proposed the display drone, a uh, drone equipped with a flexible touch screen. Uh, the system using um, a drone has many advantages as below. Uh, firstly, the system offers a uh, a large space for video expression in the real world. In other words, uh, it makes possible to display it uh, in anywhere in 3D space. Uh, besides, it can directly show the image in the air, so everyone uh, can see uh, simultaneously the image without HMD or Google, uh, unlike, unlike uh, typical AR. Uh, we consider that uh, drone-based system has much potential than blimps or balloons. Uh, because a uh, drone has a richer payload and a high, higher manuality than blimps or uh, balloons. A uh, richer payload offers uh, space, uh, spaces to mount advanced sensors, uh, such as uh, laser range finder or depth camera uh, or omnidirectional camera and so on. Uh, these sensors allow to support various rich interaction. Besides, higher ma uh, maneuverability also make it possible to dynamic performance and quick require and approach to the users and uh, interact with uh, moving users. <sighs> However, it was uh, difficult to mount high resolution and bright large display on the drone. Uh, it mainly uh, because two reasons. One reason is that high resolution large display increases the total weight of the system. So it um, makes it impossible to fly. And the other reason is that this display disturbs the drone's airstream from the top to the bottom. Um, and the uh, fine um, airstream is necessary for stable flight. Especially uh, if there are uh, if display are um, placed on the top or bottom, the problem becomes more serious. Uh, uh, however, uh, bottom side display is very important for drone because uh, drones tend to fly over the human's height and the user look up and see it. 
So today I present iSphere, a second minute speaker drone display. iSphere is a flying speaker display that can present high resolution and bright image in all directions from anywhere in 3D space. Uh, our goal is to create new platform that can display image anything uh, in anywhere in real world. This that is a part of the, um, the demo. Uh, I'm sorry, to be honest, I plan to demonstrate it with right uh, in my presentation. Uh, but unfortunately, live demonst demonstration became difficult uh, because of a module was damaged in way to uh, Canada from Japan. <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's see the demonstration video. Oh. Sorry. Uh, this video was captured at Niko Niko Chokai. It's uh, one of the um, biggest events in Japan. And uh, then um, drone flies in three meter square cage, like that. Uh, its height is about six meter. And the sound was not added after the event. Uh, it was recorded at the place. So you can slightly hear the drone's noise in the sound. At the, two event, uh, at the two days event, we conducted a uh, flight demonstration about 40 times, and several thousand people uh, saw it as a total. OK, uh, I explained the detail of the iSphere. iSphere has uh, uh, oh. mm. There is a, um, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, iSphere has a 88 centimeter diameter, and its weight is about 4.5 kilogram without batteries. Uh, the resolution is about 144 times and 136, and the maximum slide and the total of the total slide of the four motors is over 9 kilogram. So, uh, as you see. Uh, iSphere has many, many parts. Um, however, iSphere mainly consists of the three components as figure shows. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, from the inside, the, okay. uh, from the inside, the built-in drone to produce uh, fork light, uh, produce last fork light. And the outer of it, and the persistent vision display to create a speaker image around the built-in drone. Uh, the shell covering a whole other components to prevent them from hitting prop uh, papers or other things. The between drone is based on quadcopter and the setup is sh shown as below. Uh, we made the uh, drone's frame by cutting ca uh, carbon plate using NC milling machine. Uh, unlike a normal quadcopter, uh, two adjunct motors in your axis are attached. So uh, their role is, uh, will be explained later. So it's this small motor. 
this more modern. I explained the POV display uh, while uh, demonstrating, uh, with demonstrating. Um, the display uh, consists of the eight accurate LED tapes, motors, and rotary counter. Raspberry Pi under the drone controls the motor speed and all LED tapes by a slip ring. Okay, uh, let's start the demonstration. As you see, um, eight uh, accurate LED tapes around the zone rotate three times uh, per second and create a spherical image. Uh, as a result of the after image effect, the spherical image uh, is seen in human's eye. And the image uh, created by LED tapes are very bright, so you can see the movie uh, even from the opposite side of the, in this room. Can I see? <laughs> um, the principle of the ISPI is simple, but uh, there is, it is uh, difficult to um, mount a um, POV display on the drone. Because when LED taps rotates, uh, rotates, reaction torque trying to spin the drone as uh, generated. If you let uh, uh, the drone fly in the condition, the drone fly in spiral vector and becomes uh, uncontrollable and crash. So we used uh, two adjunct motors in your axis. These motors generate counter torque uh, against the reaction torque and stabilize the drone. Uh, as a result, ice track can fly straight. Okay, stop it. Uh, I consider that the combination of the drone and POV display has many ad advantages. Advantages. Uh, firstly, the speaker hollow image looks like larger and high resolution. However, uh, actual LED tape is very, very narrow. Uh, it's about uh, 12 millimeter. So um, its, its weight is much lighter than the same size real speaker LED display. Besides, uh, LED tape is narrow, so the um, ice sphere allows the air to flow through them. So the effect of the air stream is very uh, small. Uh, it also has a nice scalability uh, because a bigger display can be created uh, by only increasing length of the LED tapes. So uh, we regard that bigger ice sphere, such as several metal ice sphere, uh, is possible and it matches on the signage and uh, performance in uh, large event hall. In addition to the advantages, ice sphere has unique characteristics. Uh, we can set up the most of the system inside of the POV display. It's very safe. And not only so, um, so the mate of the construction is not only that uh, the parts uh, don't hide the display, uh, but also the display hides them. So let's look at and demonstrate it. I guess uh, you can see the between drone right now. However, Just a moment, please. The spectral image um, hides the drone like that. And that noise is uh, because of the damage of the module. Um, so besides, LED spray is semi-transparent as actual. So in the dark environment, 
it can show beautiful image with a floating, um, uh, with floating feeling. As a first step, uh, we will apply our system to signage or stage performance, like uh, Intel's drone. However, we consider that iSphere has a potential to become a special platform that can make new many applications. Uh, for example, the spatial and the direct guidance application is possible. And in the disaster situation, iSphere can guide the people to the shelter in, in this application. Uh, uh, iSphere can provide information simultaneously to surround, surrounding people uh, of particular interest. A high uh, altitude iSphere can directly present information uh, to many people spread it over a um, wide area. And a unique telepresence system that fly over the obstacle in the environment and communicate with remote people is also possible. Uh, however, uh, the prototype has, uh, prototype has uh, several limitations. Uh, first, the drone generates a big noise and white flight. Uh, besides, uh, the weight is uh, 4.5 kilograms. It's uh, too dangerous to fly over the people. And flight time is limited to about around uh, five minutes. And our, because our system needs many mechanic, uh, sorry, and it is very difficult to uh, tiny drone because our system needs many mechanical modules. So create, to create a tiny sphere is still challenging. Uh, we aim to improve our proposal in several different directions. Uh, first of all, uh, it is a simple performance improvement. For example, the higher resolution, uh, longer flight time, and controlling the um, swarm of the ice sphere. And the kind of, pri kind of prototype only present information to user one way. So we would like to uh, realize interactive ice sphere. And our goal is uh, create a new platform that can display uh, they can imagine any, anything in the anywhere in real world. So I have a strong interest with uh, volumetric display in the there. Okay, um, let me conclude my presentation. A flying speaker display uh, is proposed. It can show the high resolution and bright omnidimensional images. Our mechanism is based on a combination of the POV display and drones. Besides, we discussed the, its ca unique characteristics and applications and limitations. Thank you. Steve Finder, Columbia University. This is really, really cool stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so one thing I'm, I'm trying to understand, you basically have a big gyroscope, right? Mm. Because it's turning around. Yes. And you have like another gyroscope inside turning in the opposite direction oh. to try to counteract mm. that. And of course, this is not perfect physics, it's real engineering. Mm. So I was wondering, how does this affect the maneuverability of this thing that has oh. these extra big monster gyroscopes? Maybe it's good and it tries to keep it upright yes, more, yes. Uh, or is it bad and it starts precessing and doing um, crazy things? To be honest, um, the gyro effect uh, actually affects a little bit in this prototype. For, but uh, the uh, LED tapes uh, we're using in this prototype is very light, so gyro effect is uh, low. But uh, if uh, we use, made the uh, a giant sphere, this probably imagined, uh, uh, will be imagined. So I think uh, uh, it will need uh, another uh, mechanism, such as a uh, uh, counter uh, um, gyroscope and so on, I think. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi, uh, Jonathan Hi. Deber, Taxual Labs. Um, that was actually my question, so I guess I'll ask a different question now. Um, it's great work, by the way, it's very cool. So on, on Monday night, uh, the demo that Taxual was running was right across from you. So we spent four hours looking at this the whole night on Monday. And um, one thing we were wondering was the safety of it. This was something, you know, as we see it 
wobbling on the table. Uh, so I was wondering if you could just chat about uh, what would happen if yeah. you know something were to break. How fast are the speeds? How much mass uh, is there if it if something were to come apart? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, about that safety. Uh, so the reason why uh, the ice sphere is vibrating is uh, damaged the bearing holder, so it's not uh, centered, so <laughs> it's vibrating. The, so as a normal, it's uh, not vibrating. And we also uh, collaborate with uh, famous artists, so it's uh, not, it, uh, in the uh, demonstration, we don't use uh, the cage, uh, like, sorry, just move this. Sorry, I hmm. so just move this. Uh, the uh, uh, not damaged ice sphere is very stable. So, uh, but uh, we in usual we uh, um, get the different distance, five meter distance uh, to, for the safety. So, uh, if, but uh, if there is a catch, uh, there is no distance. So there is, uh, it is not necessary to uh, get um, uh, get the distance. That's so I'd like to show the. Um, oh, okay, I I found. Yeah, this is a TV show in NT. Ah, uh, in oh sorry, <laughs> it's my heart is really beating. <laughs> uh, like that. So the dangerous uh, according to the height of the um, ice sphere. So in this uh, show, we uh, we uh, didn't cry. Uh, not higher uh, position. So it's safe. Sorry. <laughs> 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 mm.